You know, I think some of you might have the wrong idea about me, specifically about how I dress. Now, I know that on the channel, I do a lot of videos about suits and more dressed up styles, like a lot of videos, but you know what? I don't actually wear those things every single day. Well, that brings up a lot of questions, right? Like, why do I have all these clothes? The reason is that I like them. They make me feel good. They are my personal style and I wear them whenever I have an opportunity to. I choose to wear clothes like that, but that's not every single day. You know, it'd be kind of weird if I was out in the yard with the dog in a tuxedo. So that's why today I wanted to put together this video and show you five of my everyday outfits. I'm Brian Sakawa and you're watching He Spoke Style. On this channel, I teach you the principles of dressing well and give you the tools and inspiration you need to develop your personal style. So what I'm gonna do is for each outfit, I'm gonna show you each individual piece and then we'll put it together so you can see the outfit as a whole. And I'll put links to everything that is available down below in the description. And in the event that the exact item isn't available, I will do my best to link to something similar. Here we go. For look number one, I've got a lavinum quilted jacket. It's a classic, great sort of light to midweight piece of outerwear. Next, a buffalo plaid flannel shirt. This is by Uniqlo. Great pattern and color for the season. Jeans are by Double RL. Oatmeal colored wool knit hat by Drake's. And then for footwear, I've got some Bostonian oxblood leather boots. When you put it together, you've got an outfit that is kind of outdoorsy, rugged, very much sort of what I've been feeling in our new environment, living out here in the woods. All these pieces I have had for no less than three years. I think the least old piece in this outfit is the shirt. Just goes to show you that if you fill your wardrobe with great basics, they will always look good. Look number two starts off with this Todd Snyder for L.L. Bean Sherpa jacket. I freaking love this piece. The Todd Snyder L.L. Bean stuff is amazing. Unfortunately, this particular shirt jacket is sold out. However, there is an even cooler version, I would say, available now that is a kind of really big black, gray, and tan check. Let me tell you, if I didn't already have this one, I would totally have that one. Next, just a simple baseball shirt, which is actually over 10 years old. Light wash jeans, J. Crew, 484 fit. A wool baseball cap, which is by Express. And then a pair of L.L. Bean camp mocks, which are pretty much my everyday shoes these days. So this really is the go outside, play with the dog in the yard look. It's definitely been getting much colder lately, and this shirt jacket is just so warm, not to mention ridiculously comfortable. So a lot of what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis is just really functional. I know I can just grab the shirt jacket and I'll be warm. The camp mocks are just so easy to slip on and off. I mean, this is just like such a classic fall winter casual outfit for me. So you've probably noticed a couple of L.O. Bean items in this video and if you follow the channel for a while, I think this is the first time uh, that I've ever worn pieces by L.L. Bean on the channel. So this is 100% not sponsored by L.L. Bean, but I have really been loving the brand recently and have kind of rediscovered them for myself. Comfortable, casual, classic, stylish, really fits the bill for how my personal style has been evolving over the years. So for this next look, it's just kind of a variation on the last one. and. All I've really done is to swap out the Sherpa shirt jacket for this fleece lined flannel shirt. So this is a size medium. They call it slightly fitted. I think it fits great in the shoulders though, perhaps just a little baggy around the body for my taste, but I do only have a t-shirt on underneath. So there's definitely room to layer in a thicker sweater if I wanted to wear this, uh, if it was cooler out. Again, just a really easy outfit to throw on for some yard work, splitting wood or playing with the dog. For this next look, this is an indoor outfit. I've got a cable knit cashmere cardigan by Gobi Cashmere. Great brand, great product, great prices. Definitely check them out if you're in the market for some high quality yet affordable cashmere pieces. Then plaid flannel from J. Crew Factory. Same J. Crew light wash 484 jeans you've seen in the last two looks. 
And my favorite shoes to wear around the house for the season, these are wool black watch plaid loafers by Belgian Shoes. I'm definitely one of those people who struggles to find outfits to wear uh, just around the house that aren't too dressy, but then again, aren't just super sloppy like t-shirt and sweatpants. So this is pretty much my go-to when it comes to an in-between at-home outfit. The plaid flannel is super comfortable. The cardigan kind of gives you that blazer feel, but it's much more cozy, definitely more casual. Yeah, so just super easy to throw on, feel good, and feel like I'm actually put together, but not too much when I'm at home. Look number five is super sporty. We have a Lululemon jacket, a Lululemon shirt, some Lululemon ABC joggers, and two other pieces for this outfit. Simple white baseball hat by Vilberken and white leather sneakers by Common Projects. So yeah, pretty simple, very sporty. Uh, and just let me say that I would have never considered myself an athleisure kind of guy, but the Lululemon stuff, although admittedly uh, is definitely a bit on the pricier side, it's just so comfortable, uh, it fits so well, uh, so I am definitely a fan. I do have another pair of these joggers, which are the cropped shorter version. Uh, the ones I'm wearing are the regular. Wasn't sure I was going to like the regular length as much, but I definitely do. So for those of you who have been wondering what I wear on a daily basis, these five outfits are that. It's all about comfort, practicality, utility, and of course, I always try to pick things that have a little bit of style as well. I've got links down below to as many of the pieces featured in this video as possible, and some more winter casual outfit ideas right over there in that video. So click there for some more casual winter outfit inspiration.